Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. A Memorial Day get-together for you here at the ballpark between the Omaha Storm Chasers and the Round Rock Express. Stepping into the box, D.J. Burt. He will lead this one off today. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. This is hit high in the air out to left field. McCormick comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Now to the plate, Bobby Witt Jr. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Three and one now. Our temperature not quite as hot as we'd expected. 85 degrees, the reading at first pitch. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Standing in, Nick Heath. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. And this is low, ball two, two and one. That's on the outside corner, count two and two. This is hit the other way out toward left field. McCormick is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Digging in now, Ryan McBroom. He's been productive at the plate in the series with six hits coming into this one. McBroom. Now a throw over to first and he has to dive but he's back in easily. Witt is off of first with two away. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. And the off balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. At the plate, Nick Tanaloo. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Nope. Up high, two and one now. This one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Anibal Sierra waits on deck. Hit in the air down the left field line. Number 15 ranges deep into the corner to make the catch for the first down. Ready now, Anibal Sierra. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Number 15 is there and he makes the catch for the out. Settling in now, Taylor Jones looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Here it comes on one and one. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. So digging in now, number 15. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's game. The 2-2. Oh, look at that stop. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Stepping in, Jimmy Govern. It's been a two for 14 effort for him to this point in the series. Now the payoff pitch home. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now with the play, Kelvin Gutierrez, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Kelvin Gutierrez. Fastball well outside.
line drive fair ball down the line and now it'll kick around in the corner and he'll make it to second base now with two gone that is the catcher, number 33 near to the plate now Nick mm -hmm. Dini full count three and two some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy but with the base open and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side. Coming to the plate now Jack Mayfield he'll get to take his first cuts here. The two one home. Call didn't go his way on two and one but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Peterson moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for at number one. Now in the box Ronnie Dawson He's carrying a batting average of just over 300 so clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. And a curveball's by him that time as he falls behind now one and two. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. So coming to the plate, Lorenzo Quintana trying to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Quintana. A 1-1. He is taken for strike two. Bottom of the second here with no score. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Chaz McCormick would be next. Ground ball right side. And that is through into right field for a single. Stepping in now, Chaz McCormick. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. And a three. fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Stepping into the box, Court Peterson, hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. Hit out of play, and it's a full count now. Well hit the other way and it's into the gap. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Now that is the designated hitter. DJ Bird. So now to the plate. DJ Bird. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. In now, Bobby Witt Jr. with 10 runs batted in on five hits in the series. He's a guy to keep an eye on in this one. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. Coming to the plate now, Nick Keith. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. To right field and deep. Look at this thing go. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. At the plate, Ryan McBroom. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired.
Now at the plate, Drew Ferguson comes into this one with just one hit in nine tries for the series. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Hit hard on the ground to second. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. Batting nut, the right field. Steven. Standing in now, Stephen Wren. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Riding in once again, Nick Tantalou. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1-1 home is a breaking ball that misses off the plate. And the curveball drops in on 2-1. Two, 2-2 two two now. Pitch is way outside, and that's straight to the backstop. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Ready with the payoff pitch. Line toward right center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Now batting. Into the box, Anibal Sierra. And he looks at one that misses ball four. So that'll load him up, but at least the double play is in order here with one away. Ready for another chance? Taylor Jones. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. To two balls and two strikes now. All right, no more hoping he's going to chase. It's two and two now. You've got to come up with the best pitch right here because this is definitely a strikeout situation. And he'll be tagged out as he got caught between third and home. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning come will continue. Second base Two base. out, bases loaded. Yeah. Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. To two and two now. Hey, that's the kind of swing you'd like to see a guy take with the bases loaded. He's going for the downs. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Here's the two and two. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. One run is scored. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Into the box now, Lorenzo Quintana. Now a hard liner, but foul. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Stepping in and ready for another shot, number 15. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's 2 and 1. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Reined in. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. At the plate, Jimmy Govern. He flew out in his last at bat. Jimmy Glover. 1-1. And this is pulled fouled as he was way out in front there. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Hit weakly back to the mound. 
And that's the second out. Now at the plate, Kelvin Gutierrez. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate. Meanwhile, this ball is into right center, and that ought to be good enough for extra bases. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. The catch number 33, Nick Dini. To the plate now, Nick Dini. Hit on the ground to third. Fielded cleanly. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Digging in for his second at-bat, Chaz McCormick comes into this at-bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Sharp ground ball to third. He's got it. And that's the first out. Stepping now in, Drew Ferguson. Hits are now even at four apiece. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now that the right fielder. At the plate now, Steven Wren. Line toward the alley in left center into the slide and he comes up with a great catch for the second out. Ready for another shot now. Nick Tanalu. He doubled earlier in the game one for two to this point. Now a move over to first and the runner back safely. Swing and a hot shot toward third. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Now that is good stop. Anibal. At the plate, Anibal Sierra lays off the slider that time. Two and one. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder is on the move. He's got it. And they get out of the jam unscathed. Leading off the inning, Court Peterson. And they'll need him to get something going here. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind. Fifth inning of play here in a three-two ball game. Throw over to first, and he'll get back in safely. Fouled away. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. Oh, and he takes his eye off it here and it goes right past him. And he is going to score now all the way from first on a play that was nothing short of a disaster all the way around. Now battle the shortstop, Bobby Witt. And now Bobby Witt Jr. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Line to the right side. 
He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. And that'll bring in the go-ahead run from third. It's now a 4-3 to three game. Now batting the center fielder, Nick Heath. Standing in now, Nick Heath. And it's fouled away. Both teams with six hits so far. Hard on the ground towards short. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Ronel Blanco comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. So now to the plate, Ryan McBroom. And he fouls this one off. First and second here with nobody out. To two balls and two strikes now. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Another try at 2 2. And another foul ball. On the ground to second base. This could be two. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Digging in, number 15. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Hit the other way out toward right field. Catch is made near the line. Here comes the runner from third. And the run is in to score from third. Now a 5-3 game. Into the box now. Jimmy Govern. Now 0 for 2 with a fly ball and a ground out on his line to this point. The 1-1. At the ball. Hit weakly on the ground to short. Reined in. Throw on to first, and they're able to escape the monster inning as the side is retired. Number 39 is on, and he'll take over on the mound in relief. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Digging in once again, Taylor Jones. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Easy take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Another full count pitch home. Nope. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth Double underway. Double so base stepping base. in, Jack Mayfield. 0 for 1 with a run batted Three. in thus far. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there. Stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball. And now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. Swing and a miss on the fastball. And that's the first out. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Ronnie the Dawson. A fly out and a single for him so far. Now the 2 1. Lorenzo Quintana waits on deck. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Digging in to try it again, Lorenzo Quintana. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Jones is on his way home. He scores as they pull within one here. It's now a 5-4 game. Now back. To the plate now, Chaz McCormick. This is driven to right, and no doubt about it, that one's way out of here. 
pitching staff has to love this one, right? They were down one, and with one swing of the bat, they're up two. What a turnaround in this one. Junior Marte, six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Junior Marte. Stepping in now, Drew Ferguson. Right there at the belt, one and two now. The count for one and two. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Into the box now, Stephen Wren. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. A bouncer up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw in time, and they stop the bleeding as the side is retired. Ready once again, Kelvin Gutierrez. He doubled his last time through. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Line toward the gap in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. The catcher, number 33, Nick Dini. Into the box, Nick Dini. Swinging a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two. Both teams with eight hits in this one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And foul, though it had the home run distance. A line shot to third base. And it got there so quickly, the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settled now with just the one out. Right Into the box, Court Peterson. Peterson. Throw over to the bag, and he's back standing. Runners on first with one down. Lifted down the line in left. And that's in there. Base hit. The batter, number one, designated hitter, DJ Burke. At the plate, DJ Burke fouled off. Another 1 2 delivery. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Digging in, Bobby Witt Jr. to we'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. One and two now. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Slider and that's hit on the ground towards second and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So the lineup flips over and digging in Nick Tanalu. He's roped a couple of doubles in three trips to this point. Here it comes on one and one. Outside two and one. Two and two. Two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the two-two pitch. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Sent on the ground out to second. And a good throw gets him one gone. So striding in, Anibal Sierra. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Now the one and one pitch. The bouncer to the left side. He's right there. 
on to first, and there were two down. At the plate, Taylor Jones. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. This is line to left. Number 15 is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Riley Farrell is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 70, Riley. Now batting, Nick Heath. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it two and two. Hit out towards second. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. So here's the cleanup hitter, Ryan McBroom. He's batting cleanup, but has been shut down so far at the plate, 0 for 3. Line drive base hit. And this will get all the way to the wall now. And he'll pull into second with one away. Now back, left field, Travis Jones. In now, number 15. Hey. A ball and two strikes now. Oh, Breaking ball there. called just a bit low. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. From the stretch. A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. The batter number eight. Second base. Jimmy. So now to the plate, Jimmy, Jimmy Govern. And the slider gets him swinging to God. Striding into the box, the Kelvin game. Gutierrez. Two outs and two Kelvin runners game. aboard here in the seventh yeah. inning. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Another payoff pitch. Hit out towards second. Throw in time and the side is retired. Richard Lovelady gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 55. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jack Mayfield. He's got an RBI despite an 0 for 2 effort to this point. The 1 1 pitch. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. And that's ball three now as it just misses below the zone. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Now Stepping up now, Ronnie Dawson. Hit a, hitter. a hit and two tries Ronnie. for him so far. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Lorenzo Quintana is on deck. Too high, and that cost him ball four. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Lorenzo Quintana, two for three with a double on his line so far. Grounded back up the middle. He'll go to the bag for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired.
Austin Pruitt has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 51. Stepping up to the plate, Nick Beanie. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Line towards center field. And he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Now batting the right fielder, Court Peterson. Into the box now, Court Peterson. Nope. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. And he lays off again, ball three. D.J. Burt, who represents the possible go-ahead run here, waits in the on-deck circle. That's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder giving chase. Oh, and a great diving catch for the first down. Next will be the designated hitter, D.J. Burt. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. The 2 2 gets him looking up around the letters. Striding in, Bobby Witt Jr. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Bobby Witt Jr. Set and the 1 1 pitch. Uh, had him off stride that time, and it's 1 and 2. See, guys, he is human. Occasionally an ugly swing right there, but he's having a monster season, so I'm going to give him a free pass. Fouled away. Here's another 1 2. Softly hit to the left side, and he'll go the short way to retire the side. Digging in and looking for more, Chaz McCormick. He went deep to the tune of a three-run job his last time up. The last at that, Matty V. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss. And he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. Running hard, he's digging for second. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Now back, better fielder, Drew. Ferguson. Stepping in now, Drew Ferguson. Popped up. McBroom is there for it. And that's the first out of the inning. Now so back. striding right forward here. now, Stephen Wren. He's hitless in three at-bats yeah. to this point. Now the 2-1 pitch. Oh, look at the sliding stop. He goes to first. Got him. That was exceptional. He got the out and prevented the runner from having now a chance to score. Now at the plate, Nick Tantalou. Two doubles for him to this point in the game. And this is taken here for ball four. Just the second walk he's allowed into his eighth inning of work. Digging in, Anibal Sierra. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ani pops it up, drifting just beyond the infield. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Jared Hughes comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Standing in, Nick Keith. He homered back in the third inning in this one. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. Hughes was known as a short relief specialist. A guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. And he checked his swing, but it's a strike three called. And that's the first the out of the eight, inning. Number nine. Stepping Ryan. into the box, Ryan McBroom. McBroom. He's one for four for the game. Oh. 
can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. Now the pitch. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Two out, nobody on. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Hit hard back up the middle. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Now back, second base, Jimmy. At the Govern. plate now, Jimmy Govern. Line drive to left. And a clean base hit, so he gets off the schneid, as they say, and is now one for five in the game. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. The third base number 16, Kelvin Gutierrez. To the plate now, Kelvin Gutierrez. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. He really needs to find a pitch to put this guy away with right here, right now. He can't allow this inning to get any worse than it's already become. In the air after straightaway left. Left fielder giving chase. And he tracks it down. And this ball game is over. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs. So a four-game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press. They just came out here, played their game, and put the losing streak behind it like professionals are supposed to do. Well done. Seven to five, how today's comes to an end. The Round Rock Express used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Rene Blanco gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Jared Hughes wraps it up for the save, his tenth. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Our final line score, first for the Victorious Express, seven runs on nine hits. One error, they left eight runners on base. For the Storm Chasers, five runs on 14 hits. No errors, they left 11 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 23 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.